Hello Rayman and everybody, this is Kaniva and this is my entry for the Minecraft fan server. This is the hidden base entry. Um, as you guys know, I already submitted one, but there are some complications with the snapshot that was involved. I made all of this without using the snapshot and uh, just what happened in the last one was I was testing the snapshot and then before I started recording I forgot to switch it back so that was the problem with that and also prior to my other submission I uh, included more so um, some of this might be repetitive that you might have already seen and there is some new stuff in it also so uh, uh, let's get started with this okay um, my base consists of from there, uh, from <laughs> from there all the way over to there. This all is my base. Sorry about framer issues and stuff. I'm doing this on my laptop because my computer decided to take a crap on me. So I'm building a new computer and stuff, and uh, I'm actually using my laptop right now. So to start out with, what we're gonna do is get into our the first entrance to get into the base. There's a pressure plate right here. We're going to go ahead and step on that. This uh, sand block goes down revealing a button. We're going to press that button and when we press it the sand block has come back up um, making the button go away so you can't see it and it's going to open the door. So that goes out and then we are in the base. That's kind of weird. And then it, the wall uh, repositions itself back up and then this is if you just want to go back out again kinda cool um, now we're in my base sorry about frame rate issues again this is kinda bad um, so now we're in this room and there's nothing else to really do except right here is a little waterfall going down let's go down this waterfall Whoa, that was pretty bad. Okay. Now we're in the center of my base. As you can see, these look like these should be doors. They all are labeled with a certain kind of wool. And some lava down there and stuff. But, the thing is, what do we do now? Um, what can we do? Well, if you look around hard enough, there is a button over here. Let's go press that button. Alright, now this reveals a pathway over this pressure plate. As you can see, the doors are still closed at this time. We're going to go press this pressure plate, and all the doors open. Okay, let's uh, get rid of that pathway. Now, let's go over here. Like I said in my last one, this is just a grow room. Nothing special in here. Just growing stuff. That button is for opening and closing the doors. Okay. Now let's go over to the other side, to the or, or not orange, <laughs> the brown. And this is my enchanting room. Uh, I just put two down to make it symmetrical with the room. Uh, but there is something hidden in here. If you look behind the uh, um, lava there is a mind cart, but you can't get to it. That sucks, you can't get to it. Well, let's go over here. Behind this one, there's a button. Let's press that button. I heard something happen. And, uh, let's try and get through. Oh, now we can get through. And that's because... Well, let me press that button. When this is up, you don't have a long enough distance to click into here because this block is in the way. So, if somebody's trying to chase you, or you're trying to get away, um, press that button, come through here and quickly press this button. They can't get in here or they're gonna they're gonna die. <laughs> Alright. Uh just jump down here and if you look up there's just a standard uh water elevator. And uh not to bore ya, I'm gonna see you guys when we get back up to the top. Alright, we are back up to the top now of this water elevator. Come up to this little room. A little gold block. Alright. Well, if you press this button right here, it opens up this door, and we are out. It's pretty concealing. No one really even thinks to that to be a door. Um, let's go 
up here. Yeah, it's just fly a little bit. <laughs> Alright, well, that right there is our sand door, and that down there is the door we just came out of. Like I said, you wouldn't really think a door would be there. It's pretty concealed. Now, let's go back inside of the base. Actually, now we're going to take a different way in. We're not going to take this way in. There's another way in that this is new that was not in my other video. Um, let's go around here to the back of this mountain. All right. Well, what what's back here? Nothing really, except if we go in this corner. What was this? Oh. Let's go down here. That uh, sand block goes back, and now we're in here. Um, this little passageway. What's this? It's our main room. That's the main room we were just in. That's how we get back into here. Uh, you can close that up. There we go. Now, let's get back down here. Whee! <laughs> okay. Um, let's go into here to the orange um, room. Now, there's nothing in here. Looks like there really isn't. There's a button, but all that does is close the door. Hmm. Riveting. Riveting stuff. But if you just look around, you're not really going to see anything by running in or out. But it's it's pretty pretty hidden, but kind of duh. Just look up. There's a button. And it, two stairways come down. And then if you look around, it's a uh, chest room for me to put some stuff in. Got a little logo thing right there. <laughs> uh, Alright, well... That's that place. Cool. Nice. Alright. Now, say you're in here, somebody's trying to chase you, or you just need a quick way out of here. What you're going to do is you're going to run over here, jump down, and now you're down here. Uh, grab a minecart, and then you can place it right here. There's a button right there. And uh, when you get in the cart and you press the button, you're going to start going on the trail. But, when you hit this pressure plate, um, this uh, block will come out, making the path not doable. <laughs> and these two blocks right here are both going to come out and uh, block the chest. I'll quick show you that how it works. I didn't really show it last time very well. So, uh, let's press this button. Alright, well... That would come out like that, and then these two blocks come out, so it's hiding it. And then the only way they can go is up, and that's through their death. <laughs> Alright, now let's uh, get this back to where it should be. I just want to show you because I didn't show that very well last time. Alright, now let's press this, and off we go. It's a pretty nice room, emeralds and stuff there and then there's a spiral uh, lava tower going up uh, this gets pretty repetitive so I'll see you guys when we get to the top alright welcome back guys going through another spiral right here but we're gonna be up to the top soon and then those two open that opens you get out of here and then this block gives you enough time to grab your cart and then it closes and that is where we came out of. This thing right here. Let's get rid of these. We don't need these anymore. Alright. So we came out of here. Like I said, wouldn't really think anything is here. Um, Alright. Let's go over here to this lake and the jungle. Um, remember this lake for later. Um... Hey there, Mr. Sheep. You were are you still stuck? I got you unstuck last time. Come on, get out of there. Hope you find out. <laughs> well, this tree looks kind of odd. Let's uh, let's climb it for some reason, just for fun. I like climbing trees. Get up to the top of this thing. Uh, 
let's set time to zero. I like it when it's sunny. Anyways, this reveals a little pathway going down into my base from the top of the tree. It's like a hollowed out tree. Um, most people wouldn't really think to look for stuff on top of trees. Most people don't climb all the way on top of jungle trees. But, um, I thought it'd be pretty cool. So, let's go down in here. And uh, this is pretty slow, so I'll see you when we get down there. Alright guys, welcome back. And we go down in this room. And now we're in my uh, trunk room, the tree room. Um, this is my favorite room out of all of them. It's really green. Um, I like the way the trunk roots come down into the floor. We got some uh, waterfalls going down pretty far. It's kind of a tranquil type of uh, room. I like it. Uh, as we go down this room, notice the transition of the grass, the deep green grass to the crabgrass, and the uh, walls go from wood to sandstone. It's pretty cool. That's one thing I liked. Um, let me show you one other thing I added, though. Uh, it's in this hallway, and uh, what we're going to do is gonna look up. Oh, there's a button up here. Let's press that and look over here. Cool. <laughs> this reveals another pathway going down. We can, uh, that button closes it. And then this brings us to this room right here. I have a large tunnel going up. Let's see what's in here. Ender pearls. Let's grab one of these. But in order to throw one, we have to be out of creation mode. So let me change my game mode. I think that's correct. Maybe. Nope, that was wrong. <laughs> that's the one I wanted. Alright. I'm just going to throw an ender pearl all the way up there. Hit the top, and then this catches us. It's pretty nice. And then, once you're outside of these... Uh, tripwires it reopens but you're never going to fall down it because tripwire is always there so it's safe and we can go out here up these stairs and press that button come out and we are outside into the world again that is the tree we went down this is the lake that we were just at um, that right there is an exit but it's also an entrance if we go right here and Go up right in that corner, we can get back in. Let's walk down here. But like I said, how are we going to get back down here if this thing always closes when we try and go down? Well, we press this button. That opens. This comes down. Opens. We can get out. And we're back in our base. I'm just going to press that button. Jump up these. Press that button, and looks like nothing even happened. It's cool. <laughs> uh, all right, I have one more thing to show you guys. Let's uh, so I'll make sure that I'm able to uh, fly if I need to. Close these doors. By the way, even if you thought I was doing that because you get a longer reach for the uh, button, you can still press it even if you're in um, survival mode but uh, now we can fly there's one more thing that I need to show you and that's my last way out of my base let's go walk into here and uh, jump down here alright well now we're in this little tunnel under my uh, water fountain so we go into this corner opens up a pathway and we are down in this escape tunnel run through here back up these stairs run dude run we gotta get out <laughs> alright now we go up this ladder that's a pretty dark room I've always, I always forgot to put a uh, torch in here let's go put a torch in here real quick right there that's fine now you can see there's a trip wire right here and let's go ahead and hit that come back to this ladder that opens jump up into the water and we are out and that closes and that is the last 
escape route in my base. So in total we have the uh, sand door. We have another type of sand door right there. We have that water elevator that comes up to right there. We have our tree. Um, the rail system that goes out and comes out right there. Um, the ender ball and drop down thing right in there and another uh, pathway that comes out into the middle of that little lake right there, pond. So that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed it Rayman and everybody else that is watching this. I forgot I already pressed the button for this. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching guys. Uh, like I said I hope you enjoyed it. As always, I'm Kaniba, and I will see you guys later. Whee! <laughs> back up to the top. Alright, we are back up to the top. Now this water elevator. Come up to this little room. A little gold block. Alright. Well, if you press this button right here, it opens up this door. And we are out. It's pretty concealing. No one really even thinks to that to be a door. Um, let's go up here. <clears throat> yeah, it's just fly a little bit. <laughs> Alright, well, that right there is our sand door, and that down there is the door we just came out of. Like I said, you wouldn't really think a door would be there. It's pretty concealed. Now, let's go back inside of the base actually no we're gonna take a different way in we're not gonna take this way in there's another way in that this is new that was not in my other video um, let's go around here to the back of this mountain alright well what what's back here nothing really except if we go in this corner what was this? Oh. Let's go down here. That uh, sand block goes back and now we're in here. Um, just a little passageway. What's this? It's our main room. It's the main room we were just in. That's how we get back into here. Uh, you can close that up. There we go. Now, let's get back down here. Whee! <laughs> Okay, um, let's go into here to the orange um, room. Now, there's nothing in here. Looks like there really isn't. There's a button, but all that does is close the door. Hmm. Riveting. Riveting stuff. But if you just look around, you're not really going to see anything by running in or out. But it's it's pretty, pretty hidden, but kind of duh. Just look up. There's a button. And except right here is a little waterfall going down. Let's go down this waterfall. Whoa, that was pretty bad. Okay. Now we're in the center of my base. As you can see, these look like they should be doors. They all are labeled with a certain kind of wool. And some lava down there and stuff. But, think to yourself, what do we do now? Um what can we do well if you look around hard enough there is a button over here let's go press that button alright now this reveals a pathway over this pressure plate as you can see the doors are still closed at this time we're gonna go press this pressure plate and all the doors open okay let's uh... get rid of that pathway now Let's go over here, like I said my last one, this is just a grow room, nothing special in here. Just growing stuff. That button is for opening and closing the doors. Okay. Now let's go over to the other side, to the or, or not orange, <laughs> the brown. And this is my enchanting room. Uh, I just put two down to make it symmetrical with the room. Uh, but there's something hidden in here. 
if you look behind the uh, um, lava, there is a minecart, but you can't get to it. That sucks, you can't get to it. Well, let's go over here. Behind this one, there's a button. Let's press that button. I heard something happen. And uh, let's try and get through. Oh, now we can get through. And that's because... Well, let me press that button. When this is up, you don't have a long enough distance to click into here because this block is in the way. So, if somebody's trying to chase you or you're trying to get away, um, press that button, come through here, and quickly press this button. They can't get in here, or they're going to they're gonna die. <laughs> Alright, uh, just jump down here, and if you look up, there's just a standard uh, water elevator. And uh, not to bore you, I'm going to see you guys when we get back. Anything is here. Um, Alright, let's go over here to this lake and the jungle. Um, remember this lake for later. Um, hey there, Mr. Sheep. You were, you, are you still stuck? I got you unstuck last time. Come on, get out of there. Hope you find out. <laughs> well, this tree looks kind of odd. Let's, uh, let's climb it for some reason. Just for fun. I like climbing trees. Get up to the top of this thing. Uh, let's set time to zero. I like it when it's sunny. Anyways, this reveals a little pathway going down into my base from the top of the tree. It's like a hollowed out tree. Um, most people wouldn't really think to look for stuff on top of trees. Most people don't climb all the way on top of jungle trees. But, um, I thought it'd be pretty cool. So, let's go down in here. And, uh, this is pretty slow, so I'll see you when we get down there. Alright guys, welcome back, and we go down in this room, and now we're in my uh, trunk room, the tree room. Um, this is my favorite room out of all of them, it's really green, um, I like the way the trunk roots come down into the floor, we got some uh, waterfalls going down pretty far, it's kind of a tranquil type of a uh, room. I like it. Uh, as we go down this room, notice the transition of the grass, the deep green grass to the crabgrass, and the uh, walls go from wood to sandstone. It's pretty cool. That's one thing I liked. Um, let me show you one other thing I added, though. Uh, it's in this hallway. And uh, what we're going to do is going to look up. Oh, there's a button up here. Let's press that and look over here. Cool. <laughs> this reveals another pathway going down. We can... Uh Hello Rayman and everybody, this is Kaniva and this is my entry for the Minecraft fan server. This is the hidden base entry. Um, as you guys know, I already submitted one, but there are some complications with the snapshot that was involved. I made all of this without using the snapshot and uh, just what happened in the last one was I was testing the snapshot and then before I started recording, I forgot to switch it back, so that was the problem with that. And also, prior to my other submission, I uh, included more. So, um, some of this might be repetitive that you might have already seen, and there is some new stuff in it also. So, uh, uh, let's get started with this. Okay, um, my base consists of from there, uh, from, <laughs> from there all the way over to there. This all is my base. Sorry about framer issues and stuff. I'm doing this on my laptop because my computer decided to take a crap on me. So I'm building a new computer and stuff. And uh, I'm actually using my laptop right now. So to start out with, what we're going to do is get into our uh, first entrance to get into the base. There's a pressure plate right here. We're going to go ahead and step on that. This uh, 
sand block goes down revealing a button we're going to press that button and when we press it the sand block has come back up um, making the button go away so you can't see it and it's going to open the door so that goes out and land we are in the base that's kind of weird and then it the wall uh, repositions itself back up and then this is if you just want to go back out again kinda cool um, now we're in my base sorry about frame rate issues again this is kinda bad um, so now we're in this room and there's nothing else to really do two stairways come down and then if you look around it's a uh, chest room for me to put some stuff in got a little logo thing right there <laughs> uh, alright well that's that place cool nice alright now say you're in here somebody's trying to chase you or you just need a quick way out of here what you're gonna do is you're gonna run over here jump down and now you're down here uh, grab a minecart and then you can place it right here is a button right there and uh, when you get in the cart and you press the button you're gonna start going on the trail but when you hit this pressure plate um, this uh, black will come out making the path not doable <laughs> and these two blocks right here are both gonna come out and uh, block the chest. I'll quick show you that how it works. I didn't really show it last time very well. So uh let's press this button. Alright, well that would come out like that and then these two blocks come out. So it's hiding it. And then the only way they can go is up and that's through their death. <laughs> Alright, now let's uh get this back to where it should be. I just want to show you because I didn't show that very well last time. Alright, now let's press this. And off we go. It's a pretty nice room. Emeralds and stuff. Up there. And then there's a spiral uh, lava tower going up. Uh, this gets pretty repetitive, so I'll see you guys when we get to the top. Alright, welcome back, guys going through another spiral right here but we're gonna be up to the top soon and then those two are open that opens get out of here and then this block gives you enough time to grab your cart and then it closes and that is where we came out of this thing right here let's get rid of these we don't need these anymore all right so we came out of here like I said wouldn't really I uh, included more so um, some of this might be repetitive that you might have already seen, and there is some new stuff in it also. So, uh, uh, let's get started with this. Okay, um, my base consists of from there, uh, from, <laughs> from there all the way over to there. This all is my base. Sorry about framer issues and stuff, I'm doing this on my laptop because my computer decided to take a crap on me. So I'm building a new computer and stuff, and uh, I'm actually using my laptop right now. So to start out with, what we're going to do is get into our the first entrance to get into the base. There's a pressure plate right here. We're going to go. We're going to go press this pressure plate, and all the doors open. Okay, let's uh, get rid of that pathway now. Let's go over here. Like I said, my last one. This is just a grow room. Nothing special in here. Just growing stuff. That button is for opening and closing the doors. Okay. Now let's go over to the other side, to the or, or not orange, <laughs> the brown. And this is my enchanting room. Uh, I just put two down to make it symmetrical with the room. Uh, but there is something hidden in here. If you look behind the uh
Hello Rayman and everybody, this is Kaniva and this is my entry for the Minecraft fan server. This is the hidden base entry. Um, as you guys know, I already submitted one, but there are some complications with the snapshot that was involved. I made all of this without using the snapshot and uh, just what happened in the last one was I was testing the snapshot and then before I started recording I forgot to switch it back so that was the problem with that and also prior to my other submission we do except right here is a little waterfall going down let's go down this waterfall whoa that was pretty bad okay now we're in the center of my base as you can see these look like these should be doors they all are labeled with a certain kind of wool some lava down there and stuff, but the thing yourself, what do we do now? Um, what can we do? Well, if you look around hard enough, there is a button over here. Let's go press that button. All right, now this reveals a pathway over this pressure plate. As you can see, the doors are still closed at this time. Go ahead and step on that. This. Uh, sand block goes down revealing a button we're gonna press that button and when we press it the sand block has come back up um, making the button go away so you can't see it and it's gonna open the door so that goes out and then we are in the base that's kinda weird and then it the wall uh, repositions itself back up and then this is if you just wanna go back out again kinda cool um, now we're in my base. Sorry about frame rate issues again, this is kind of bad. Um, so, now we're in this room, and there's nothing else to really...